Hey, what's going on everyone? How are you all? So this is kind of like a wrap-up video, I suppose, for E3. Um, I've been back in Sydney now for... It's now Friday and I came back last Saturday, so it's almost been a week. It's pretty crazy to think that, really. I mean, E3 feels like yesterday, yet at the same time a year ago. It's one of those things. It's not going to be one of those normal vlogs where you follow me around all day because... Well, today was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> If I look wet, it's because I just came back from working with Fudge Muppet where I was tortured with water. So uh, keep an eye on their channel if you want to see what all that's about. I'll put a link in the description to their channel because I know typing Fudge Muppet in the search bar is really difficult, right? Anyway, I just kind of wanted to wrap up E3. I wanted to kind of explain to you how cool it was and how, I don't know, kind of eye-opening to the industry and what goes on behind the scenes. And not in a bad way at all, you know, you hear like, behind the scenes, it's actually fucked. But behind the scenes, in E3 and kind of getting to meet gaming developers and stuff like that, it's really cool. I mean, come on, that's that's probably pretty obvious, right? But I met some amazing people who were not developers, but other YouTubers, and not even YouTubers, like Connor and Noah, Mr. Matty Plays, good friends, we met Alchus Breach, JV2017, George from Zero Period Productions, again, of course, Noah from the Ham Radio Podcast, and Connor who is Mr. Manny Play's good friend. And I'd like to thank all of those guys for making my E3 experience awesome and warmly welcoming me over to the US. And I can confirm that I will be going to E3 again next year. Unless, you know, something really drastic happens, but provided everything stays pretty normal, hell yeah, E3 is going to be a yearly thing. And next year, Fudge Muppet's coming. Anyway, this all leads me on to Maddie, Mr. Maddie Plays. Now, we'd only spoken a little bit, like through Twitter and stuff before. We weren't exactly what I would call like close friends, not because anything happened, just we never really interacted with each other, right? And then with that minimal background between us and almost like no relationship to speak of, none of that sus shit, just, you know, friends, friendly relationship. Yeah, with none of that, Matt went out of his way to bring me to everything. He changed meeting schedules. He had dinners with very important people, and he would contact these people to change the bloody bookings to get an extra seat so I could come along to those dinners as well. Mr. Matty Plays went out of his way to make my E3 experience even more amazing than it was going to be. Again, we'd spoken briefly on Twitter. He has nothing to gain from doing this, yet he did. Matt is a genuinely amazing and, I don't know, yeah, I really don't know what the word is. He just went out of his way with no gain to make my week awesome. Matt's got contacts within the industry, right? And he, he made sure that I met everyone, that I was introduced. He actually introduced me to a lot of these people. Again, he made sure that these meetings and stuff that I could come along as well. He had bookings to go into private rooms to play game demos that were not for the public to play. And he went out of his way to make sure that I could come in with him. Now you gotta understand, I'm, I should be the one making private game bookings for myself. These things that you book aren't like, yeah, you come and play and bring some of your friends as well. Like, Matt seriously, like, pulled some strings that he didn't have access to to get me into positions that I would not have been in otherwise. If it wasn't for Matt, I wouldn't have met Courtney Taylor. I wouldn't have met Brian T. Delaney and had lunch with him. Uh, I wouldn't have met Pete Hines. I wouldn't have met Matt Grandstaff, Bethesda's community manager or something like that. If it wasn't for Matty, I would not have met Todd Howard. So, Matt, I would like to say thank you so, so much. I can't thank you enough. I really don't have a way to put how, how, uh, thankful I am into the world. I know I said thank you in person and you were like, oh dude, no problem. Like it was some easy shit, but you really, really went out of your way, man. And I thank you so much. And of course, we're now good friends. I mean, they're all, everyone that I met was just good people. I suppose us gaming YouTubers, you know, kind of Bethesda related gaming YouTubers are all kind of same personalities, same mindset. So when we get together, we all get along like a house on fire. And we will continue to get along like a house on fire. And we've even spoken doing more collaboration work together because we get along so well. But all in all, E3 was awesome, made amazing friends, and just had an amazing week overall. Again, I would like to thank everyone that made that week amazing. We will be doing it every single year. And I'd also like to thank everyone who supported the vlogs. Um, never vlogged before, and hopefully they were watchable and funny. But again, I was just the cameraman. It was 
the people around me that made them funny. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching. I would like to thank you again for supporting the vlogs and checking it out. And thanks to Alchus Breach. Thanks to MXR. Thanks to George from Zero Period Productions. Thanks to Maddie, Noah, and Connor for making my week awesome. I'll speak to you all very soon and see you all again next year. And just a reminder, be sure to check out Fudge Muppets channel. I was in a, uh, a video of theirs. But check it out. The wet hair will make sense once you watch it, eh? E3 was awesome. Thank you all. And I'll see you later.